SAP Labs India aims to double its share of the German software giant's patents and add 3,000 jobs annually as it invests more in artificial intelligence. Managing Director Sindhu Gangadharan expects the Indian unit to increase its share of global SAP patents to 50% from 25%. The company plans to double its AI talent base by 2024 and expects 3,000 new hires annually to counter fears that emerging technology could hinder job growth. SAP Labs India, employing over 15,000 people, plans to integrate generative AI into its products to better meet the changing needs of clients like Thermax and Dabur India. SAP is increasing its investment in India, home to 40% of its global R&D activity as the country's fastest growing region. Companies worldwide have advanced on AI investments following the success of ChatGPT, a generative AI chatbot by Microsoft-backed OpenAI. Ganga Dharan, who is referring to AI regulations, suggests a great amount of responsibility barriers with flexibility to the end user and calls for self-regulation following ChatGPT creator Sam Altman's call for self-regulation in June. Ango Hub is an end-to-end enterprise-grade technology platform that has been developed to give a full suit of data annotation tools for AI teams, according to iMerit, a provider of artificial intelligence data solutions. The business claims that iMerit's Ango Hub will launch new apps that are specifically designed for a generative AI framework and tailored to speed up development in important verticals areas including medical AI, autonomous transportation and precision agriculture. Ango Hub is an enterprise-grade technology platform designed to provide data annotation tools for AI teams. It combines automation, annotation tools and analytics into a single platform allowing developers to build stronger data pipelines for scaling AI into production. The platform enables teams to accelerate time to market and create industry-specific data sets for precision in AI projects. Rishi Sunak is considering banning Chinese officials from half of its Artificial Intelligence Safety Summit in November due to concerns over Beijing's spying on Western governments. Downing Street has invited China to attend the summit, which is expected to shape the international community's approach to AI. The invitation has been criticized following the arrest of a parliamentary researcher suspected of spying for China. Sources suggest that Chinese officials might only be allowed to attend the first day of the two-day summit due to concerns over their espionage activities. Emmanuel Macron of France, Justin Trudeau of Canada and Ursula Vaughan, the head of the European Commission, are among the other world leaders who are anticipated to attend the entire summit, according to sources close to the preparation process. Following cautions from some of the leading figures in the AI sector that the technology may be used for misinformation and fraud and could possibly constitute a threat to all of mankind in the future, Sunuk announced the summit in June. That's all in this bulletin for now. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share and subscribe to 3.TV and for more information, log on to our website www3 or scan the QR code.